Hey, good morning everybody. Barkman from the GL1800 Riders Board uh, here with a quick little tutorial in Map Source on how to create and change a route. Um, before we get started, just a couple of quick things. Uh, first of all, uh, my version of Map Source may look a little bit different from your version. I'm using City Navigator North America NT 2009 Maps. And uh, I've got the uh, size of this set a little bit smaller than what might appear on your screen. Uh, simply to keep the file as small as possible to load it up to YouTube. Uh, before you get started in Map Source, one of the first things I would do is go over here to the on the menu bar to the Edit function and go down to your Preferences, and then come over to the Routing tab and go ahead and set up your uh, routing preferences. Uh, as you can see, with me, I've got mine set uh, defaulting for a faster time to prefer highways and to avoid. Uh, unpaved roads and U-turns. Toll roads I really don't care about. You can set yours up any way you want to. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to do a route. I'm just going to create one to go from uh, somewhere in Atlanta up to the Dragon and Deals Gap. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my zoom tool right here and I'm going to go, I know Atlanta is right here so I'm just going to draw a little box and I do that. Just click and drag your mouse draw box around Atlanta. And then I'm going to again draw another box to zoom in a little bit more on this area of Atlanta. Here's Roswell. Roswell looks good so let's zoom up a little bit more. And as we keep zooming in you'll see more and more roads appear. Uh, let's pick this area right here. Here's a road. What I'm going to do now, I've got my map detail set to lowest. I'm going to zoom up to highest. And now a lot of more roads appear. And this looks like a good spot. Let's say this is going to be my starting point. This is where I live. So now I'm going to select my waypoint tool and I'm going to click my mouse on this road. I'm going to just assume I live right there. And I'm going to say this is home. You can say start. You can put whatever you want to in there. I'm just going to select home. And for the symbol for home, I'm going to go pick a little house. Uh, makes it really easy to find on the map. Should be here under civil. There it is. There's the little house and there's my starting point. Now I'm going to zoom out about a hundred miles and I know that the Dragon, Deals Gap, is somewhere right here beside the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, somewhere right in this area. So I'm going to go back to my zoom tool and I'm going to click and drag and create a box around this area and it will zoom up. Here's the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Here's US Highway 129 also known as the Dragon. And I'm going to zoom up on a spot right here where the rock slide actually is right now. Let me zoom up some more. The rock slide's right about in this area right here. Here's Foothills Parkway. So I'm going to put my endpoint for right now, let's say right there. So I'm going to go back to my waypoint tool, click on here, and give it a name. You can say end, you can say dragon, you know, call it whatever you want to. I'm just going to say end. Uh, pick a symbol, whatever you want to use. I'm going to use a red flag and say OK. So now I've created my starting point, I've created my end point. I'm going to zoom back out to 100 miles. Now to create a route from the start to the end point is you do nothing more than select the root tool, click on your start, click on your end, and then map source will calculate the route based on your preferences. And of course with mine it's to uh, get there the fastest way possible using highways. There it is, the route is now done. But let's say I want to change the route a little bit. Map source is wanting to send me up this way up uh, looks like Highway 575 up through Ella J and up through McKaysville and Ducktown. But let's say I want to go uh, maybe over, uh, let's say I want to go up through Dahlonega. So I want to change my route a little bit. Watch how easy this is. Take the selection tool, click on my route one time, that will change it from magenta to yellow, and then I'm going to quickly click on the root and notice the rubber band that kind of pops up. 
and I'm going to go right here and click on Highway 400 and now it starts to recalculate the route. Give it a second, let it finish, boom, so there's my waypoint. Now it's going to send me up through Dahlonega, up through Blairsville. I'm going to grab my hand tool and click and drag my map to reposition it so I can see where it's wanting to take me. Let's say I don't want to go up through Robbinsville. Maybe I want to go back over through Teleco Plains. Again, I'm going to click on my selection tool, click quickly on the route. Again, it turns into a rubber band. I go over here and click on Highway 68, which comes up through Teleco Plains. It recalculates the route. Of course, this takes just a second. And boom, there it has changed the route. So what it has done is it's, ah, oh, this is kind of interesting. It's taken me up here to my last waypoint, but then it brings me back and wants to run me up this highway over to LJ. Well, maybe I want to stay over here on 400 and come up through Blairsville. So I'm going to go back to my selection tool, click quickly on the route again, and I'm going to go back and click on this highway. And again, it will recalculate the route. And there we go. That's how easy it is to create and change a route in MapSource. Guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you've got any questions, you guys know how to get a hold of me on the board or uh, uh, leave me a message up on YouTube. Hope this helps. Thanks. Have a great day.